As a medical professional, your salary will decline next year. Here is how you can prepare. That's right, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, or CMS, has recently released its annual proposed changes to the physician fee schedule for 2024. And guess what? The news is not good. The proposed physician fee schedule has shown that the conversion factor for 2024 will be $32.75. This is down from the $33.89 in 2023. So what does this mean? That means there will be a 3.34% decrease in your salary from the previous year. This has continued the declining trend in reimbursements that we witnessed over the past few years as the government is seeking to shift funding toward new value-based care models. In fact, AMA President Jesse Earnfield, MD, declared that when taking inflation into account, payment to Medicare physicians has already seen an effective decline of 26% from 2001 to 2023. So as a physician, what should you do? With these changes, you have two options. First, you can fight the tide or you can ride the tide. So let's discuss riding the tide first. As we previously discussed on this channel, CMS is moving from paying doctors and nurse practitioners and other healthcare professionals for the treatment or the services you do. So otherwise, this is known as fee for service. But they are moving toward paying you based on the outcome of that treatment or service. This is known as value-based care. Understanding this, CMS has introduced several new value-based codes for next year that should offset the loss in your traditional compensation. Again, these proposals are subject to change prior to the next year. Let's discuss the first one, Caregiver Training Services, or CTS. Historically, CMS has held the position that codes describing services furnished to individuals other than the patient without the patient's presence are not covered services. However, in response to public comments and the changing atmosphere, they acknowledge the crucial role caregivers can play in a patient's overall care. So for patients who suffer from conditions like stroke, traumatic brain injury, or dementia, a caregiver can be trained by the treating practitioner, doctor, or nurse practitioner to assist in the care of that patient. A caregiver example can be a family member, a friend, neighbor, or a guardian. For the physicians and other healthcare professionals, this is time they will be compensated for with new CPT billable reimbursement codes. Training furnished by these professionals will be based on an established individualized patient-centered treatment plan or therapy plan of care, accounting for the patient's specific medical needs, individual or in a group setting, and the patient will need to consent, but they don't have to be present. So for example, the proposed codes are code 96202, and this will be where the caregiver will provide behavior management training with up to 60 minutes. And the other code is 96203, which is a 15 minute add-on for the 96202 code. Thank you for listening. But before we continue, I wanna take the time to let you know how me and my company are helping organizations like yours navigate the upcoming changes. Please join our monthly webinar on how virtual care programs will transform the management of your medical practice. In this informative webinar, you will learn our proven system on how not to miss out on any billable value-based care codes, how to scale your team to handle new workflows without burnout, and the onboarding experience for value-based care programs that produces the best patient care. If you want to learn more, click on the link below. So let's talk about the next code, Community Health Integration, or CHI. This newly introduced code is part of CMS's ongoing effort to reward doctors for involving other professionals to provide holistic patient care. The focus of CHI will be on care management activities that go above and beyond the conventional scope of chronic care management, or CCM. Some typical activities for CHI will be evaluating social determinants of health, taking time to understand the patient's personal history, providing guidance or inspiration, helping patients access community-based social services, customizing health education to fit a patient's context that includes multilingual support, and helping patients navigate through the health system. 
In addition, third parties with significant clinical integration can execute this program on behalf of their doctor and nurse practitioner customers. This is a game changer and every practice should take advantage of this now. In terms of reimbursement, it will be similar to CCM CPT codes 99490 and 99439. So you can understand exactly what your monthly reimbursements look like. But the interesting thing is CHI codes can be charged in addition and on top of CCM and remote patient monitoring codes. We believe that the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services are making notable progress in their attempts to compensate for revenue loss. However, further investigation will be needed to fully understand the impact of this initiative. If you like our content, please subscribe and provide feedback below.